Mission Transformers 96 here with another very review. This time it's a Hot Toys review of the Iron Man 3 Tony Stark, um, the MMS 191. So yeah, so this was a highly anticipated figure by me. It came out quite some time ago, about a month ago. I got it a month ago, and um, I just I I've been really uh, uh haven't done the review unfortunately. I just it's been such a big item with so much stuff that I knew the review would take a long time, and um, I just haven't got to filming it. So very sorry. It took a while but here it is and uh, yeah cannot uh, I love this figure so uh, let's go into it so here's Tony Stark so as you can see it looks very nice first of all I'm gonna go over the actual figure then I'll go over how the armor pieces go on him and what they look like and then I think I'll go over all the accessories that he comes with there's so much with this guy I've got a lot to talk about so yeah so as you can see here's Tony Stark starting off uh, well first of all the slight pose I have him in is just that uh that initial kind of stance which I think looks really nice and um, when he first calls for the first armor piece and uh, it looks really cool I really like this. You can see, like, in the behind the scenes of Iron Man 3, Tony, uh, Robert Downey Jr. watching, um, some of the, uh, animation of what they kind of want him to do, and he, you know, he says, you know, I, I like how he does this after, so it's kind of neat to see, uh, Robert Downey uh, Jr.'s approval on this little, uh, this little stance, so yeah, that's a little off topic, though, so yeah. So here's the face. So as you can see, really cool. Um, some people are not loving this face. Some people do like it. But I think most people are just, it's pretty good, you know? I really do like it. I think it looks, I think it looks a lot better than, um, than the Avengers one. I, I, and it's definitely recognizable for the uh, the third Iron Man because he's got that unique type of hair with the kind of poofed up in the front, which, uh, which looks really nice. Really do like the hair coloring and everything. Just really well done, I have to say. It's, uh, you know, dead on to Robert Downey Jr., I think. And uh, they overall, they did it really well. I really like it. It looks fantastic. It's absolutely recognizable, and um, definitely Robert Downey Jr. I like, uh, I like the wrinkles, too, kind of like in the cheeks. They did it really well. So overall, Hot Toys, of course, is great with their sculpting, but uh, I think that they did a really good job with this guy, especially like from the side. I think it looks really nice. So now, just to go over the regular figure, he uh, he. This is a completely new body sculpt. So if you were thinking about replacing like the head or something, you can't. Um, th this is kind of like an. Ex th this is like the only head that can go on it, just by the way that it's uh, it's put on. It's not there isn't like a joint down here. It's just up here, and the um, the connector is a little. Odd. So yeah, so you really can't do too many customs with this. As far as the actual just sculpt, let me just straighten it out. Yeah, this joint, whoa, really tough. I mean, these joints are really tough, but I'd much rather have them like that than uh, super loose, so I don't really mind. So overall, the actual costume that he's wearing, you know, is completely accurate to the to the movie. I really do like it a lot. It looks nice. It's quite pliable. It's not like super tight or anything. I think that it really uh, it gives the Robert Downey uh, Jr. his look from this scene. It totally uh, reenacts that. The pants are nice. They're just plain old black, and the shoes are just plain black. But uh, they do look really cool. So overall, really liking this. The arms are really nice. Of course, you can see the joints, but not too bad. Um, you know, the Hot Toys is starting to kind of like rubberize like all the arms I mean with the new Thor they're doing that and uh, I have to say I don't think it's necessary I don't find it a big deal at all seeing the elbow joints I really don't so I actually prefer seeing the elbow joints rather than getting the rubberized arm I just think it looks a little better uh, to show off the light up gimmick what you what you have to do is you have to pull the shirt up take the tab out and then there's a switch right here and you don't need to move the shirt to turn on that Let's sit down there you go. You can turn it on just like this. Just give you a kind of a very dark and look. As you can see, it looks really nice. It does shine really good and it shines throughout uh, his shirt, of course, which is really cool. And then turn it off, you just pull it up, I think. Yeah, there you go. Very easy to turn on and off, which is really nice. I really do like the way they did that. Also, in this body, you can see it says where is it? Stark Industries, which is really cool. So overall, the actual figure that you get is fantastic. It's a bit plain, but that's exactly what you want. You, this is what you want, the Tony Stark. So overall, looks really nice and uh, well done. So here he is with that kind of uh, control device on him that he uses to control like the Mark 42. And he uses this in a couple scenes. Overall, it looks really nice, completely uh, movie accurate, I think. It fits really well, and I think it just looks super nice on him. I actually prefer him with this on. I think it gives him a cool look. 
uh, which I really like, and it's kind of like a magnifying glass that that glass piece, which is cool. Um, how it works, like in the movie, is really not explained, especially since I was watching a director's commentary, and uh, and you know the director said, you know, I, you know, it wouldn't really work because he's doing pull-ups all the. Uh, while the Iron Man's walking down the stairs, so he doesn't even know how it works, so it's just one of those unexplainable things that not even the people that thought it up can explain, so there you go, it's a, it's a little disappointing how, you know, unrealistic it is in that fashion, but overall I think it looks great as an accessory and it, it looks fantastic on him, and very easy to, t uh, to take off and put on. I've heard people, like, are really you know, it's really fragile, so they're all, like, afraid. I don't know, it's not a big deal at all. It's super easy to take off and super easy to put on, so I really do like that accessory. So here's Tony Stark with some of the armor pieces on, um, to get him as fully armored up as you can with just the items that come in the set. You can do, uh, both of the arms from the elbow down and, uh, both of the legs from the knee down. Of course, I have most of the armor on, just I don't have armor on this leg. So yeah, so as you can see, it looks really cool. Of course, these are all Mark 42 pieces, which is, uh... Of course, accurate, and as you can see, it just looks really nice, really love the way the armor looks, extremely shiny, and these are all posable, as well as you do have different hands that can be replaced, um, there's repulsor hands, and I believe there's fists as well, I, I can't remember, I, I think that there's fists that go with this too, so yeah, and you can of course light them up very easily, as you can see. Just like that, you've got uh, you've got the lights, which is really great and um, really fantastic. I love this uh, very nice gimmick. It's pretty easy to get the leg in. Um, it's just that the ankle peg, if it stays in the shoe, it's a uh, major hassle. So that's the only thing that really sucks. And sometimes the knees will actually pop off um, uh, at the knee. Uh, the, you know, the legs will pop off at the knee, which is a big bummer. But hey, if you can get it all right, it does look really nice. And it's not that big of a hassle as long as everything goes pretty good. So overall, really do like the armor pieces on him. And um, I think that I will definitely display him with one of the leg armor pieces on. And uh, one, if not both, of the armor uh, on the armed uh, pieces on because they look really nice. Of course with this set you get dummy. I'm uh, really happy to see that you get dummy. Um, this was one thing I was really excited for because it's almost like you're getting another character. This is uh, this is like a character that's been in all three movies and we see him quite frequently so it's really nice to get a Hot Toys figure of him and especially since it was just an accessory so very cool. So overall really do like the design. Of course it's on like a rotatable uh, base. I love the wires and I like that they're black and yellow. Oh sorry black and white so that you can uh, you can really see him well. The whole platform and everything is really cool. I, the wires going throughout it is just great. And these are all like real pliable wires. And uh, I really do love just the kind of face or the hand of uh, of Dummy. Very nice. He's got some great articulation. Uh, the wheels can turn, but they're a bit hindered just based on where they are. They don't really have any clearance. They could have pushed these out a little bit um, to give you clearance, but they did not a big problem. It swivels at the base, and then you've got a hinge right here which is really nice because as you can see the pistons working which is just very cool it can extend quite far which is really nice trying to reach something and uh... and it does hinge it does have a hinge right here so as you can see that piston working which is just very cool really do love the articulation this thing has a swivel up here and then you have a hinge up here and a swivel at the base and then each of the fingers has a hinge. Uh, so, really do like this. The articulation is great. I, I mean, I think this is as articulated as it is in the movie. I, uh, I certainly don't think that it's any less articulated. He comes with uh, the camera, and this is, of course, the camera that he used to uh, record Tony Stark as he's uh, testing the Mark 42 uh, suit. So, yeah. Uh, this is my only thing is he doesn't hold this very well. It's it's a shame you can kind of get it in his hand, but he just really cannot grasp it for a long time, uh, which is a big bummer. I wish that they made the hinges maybe a little bit stronger, or they uh, they kind of had grooves on this thing so that it would stick in better, or they had like a little uh little like um, uh, plug at the end that you can kind of stick it in the back. I mean there's so many things that they could have done to, to make this fit but they didn't so that's definitely a shame and it's uh, it's really disappointing considering it, it should have been an easy fix that Hot Toys should have uh, should have just done automatically but they didn't so that's a bummer. Overall really love Dummy though I think he's really nice and the whole camera is very cool. Um, wish that he came with a dunce hat. I don't think I've seen a review where they didn't say that but that was something that was uh, pretty funny 
in the movie, and uh, that would have been perfect for him to come with. So disappointing that he didn't, but not a big deal. So yeah, so uh, overall, uh, the dummy figure is really cool. So here are some of the armor pieces that he comes with. Um, one thing is, I'm kind of confused, um, I mixed my Mark 7 pieces, like the parts that I weren't using, and I mixed them in with the, with the pieces that Tony Stark came with because I wanted it to look like the, uh, his table was more full of parts and stuff. So I'm not 100% sure of the Mark 7 parts, which ones came with the Mark 7, which ones came with Tony Stark. So I'm kind of sorry about that. Of course, all the Mark 42 parts came with Stark, um, and I did take almost all of my Mark 7 pieces that I knew were definitely Mark 7s and took them out of the shot, so yeah. So as you can see, you just stay it handheld. You do have another um, wrist type of collar, I guess you can call it, which is for the repulsor hands. You get two of these shoes. You get one of these kind of like opened arms, which he's like working on. You get two arms that can be, uh, uh, you know, like, um, uh, can be put into actually like Tony Stark, and they're attached by a magnetic little piece, which is really nice, it works really well, and it's really uh, easy and fast to work with. You get two of these leg parts, you get another kind of open leg, like he's working on it. You get, I believe, th this is a Mark 7 hand, and I believe you do get at least one or two Mark 7 parts. You get this type of, um, I don't know if this is a uh, shoulder pad, I think it's a shoulder pad, I'm not sure, but you get another part like that. Um, you get another wrist collar, you get a helmet, which is really nice, and it doesn't have like the little notch at the bottom, so this isn't from the Mark 7. And the inside's fully detailed if you want to reenact that scene where that uh, faceplate was coming towards him. You get two uh, fist... Uh, um, what's it called, uh, you know, Mark 42 hands, you get two repulsor Mark 42 hands, and you get two, re, uh, articulated finger Mark 42 hands. So yeah, so you do get a little bit more, and I'll show you that, uh, right now. Here are some more parts that you get. Um, the table that they're on right now, this is not the table that you get with Tony Stark. This table came with the Joker, and I'm just using it now to, en to enhance my Tony Stark uh, display. Um, I'm using, you know, some of the Joker parts. So the lamp and table, you do not get with Tony Stark. That's the table you get with Tony Stark, and I'll go over that more in a second. You get some pliers. These are real metal, and they actually work. A screwdriver. This pencil you also do not get with Tony Stark. Another pair of pliers that are real metal and work. A magazine which you can actually open and read some stuff with, which I'll do in a second. You've got uh, the blueprints all for the Mark 7. You get a, a, a wire, a white wire that's kind of wrapped up. You get a full Mark, 40, a Mark 7 helmet, which is great. It's not functionable, um, but it's really nice and uh, it looks great. I'm really happy about that. Uh, you get an articulated Mark 7 hand, I believe, and another. Um, another wire that is wrapped up that's blue. So yeah, so let's just uh, look at this magazine here. So as you can see, you can open it and you know, like, let's see if you can like read it. I think these are words, but I mean, as you can see, you cannot read them. I, my camera is pretty good, so I think that you can really see as good as I can see, and you really can't read these things. But they, I, th I believe that these are actually words and not just random scribbles. Which, but this thing is just fantastic. It's all about Iron Man until you get to the back where it's a uh, advertisement. Focus. There we go. And yeah, I mean, I don't think these are scribbles but really cool. You get even a website. I guess you can go check out that website if you want to, see what that's about. And yeah, so very cool. Really do love this, uh, love this magazine. Wasn't expecting it to open, so that was a real treat to see that it did. So here's the table that you get with Tony Stark. As you can see, it's quite similar to the table that you get with the Joker. But as you can see, it's really nice. Really do love this, uh, this nice, extremely shiny, almost reflectant uh, kind of silver, which looks great. I mean, this completely looks like a real table which is so cool. Really do love it. I think it looks great. It does have real working wheels at the bottom which can swivel so you can if you have them all pointed in the same direction they will actually work. Let's see. I guess you have to really get them in the right direction but but yeah they can they roll so that's very nice. You get two uh two layers which is really cool. If you want to like for me I'm using the Joker's table as like his work table while this I'm using just as his like storage for random Iron Man parts. That's basically what I'm doing with the table. But yeah, so you can do that. You can display like all of your Iron Man parts at the bottom and a bunch of the blueprints and stuff up here and all that type of stuff. Well, something that was really surprising to me is that there is a there's 
a hole at the back of the table, just like the Joker table, which makes me believe that this is like, uh, th that they really like re-sculpted this. I don't know, because the, the Joker table has a bunch of scratches in it, so I have no idea why they would take out the scratches and leave that hole in the back for like the pencil and the pencil trick. I mean, look at this. What the heck? I, I, I have no idea why they would leave it uh, so that you can do the pencil trick on this table. But hey, it's kind of funny. And this table is overall, it's really nice, really do love it, and just an awesome accessory. So here's a portion of the base, and if you want to, if you don't have enough space to completely display the uh, the large base, you can just use this. And this is really nice. It's quite uh, raised, which is cool. It looks like a really neat kind of design, almost like his arc reactor. And then it does have a light-up feature just back here, this little button, very easy to press. And you have a light. It stays on for as long as you want until you turn it off. You get a nice white light, almost, it, it, it does give a little bluish hue, but overall it's white, which, uh, which looks great. Really do love this thing. Batteries are not included with this, so you do have to get your own batteries, but overall I absolutely love, uh, love that light and everything. It looks really cool. There is a cradle that's actually, it's more of a clamp, and it, this just moves out. Just like this to kind of clamp the figure and everything. And it is adjustable, so you can have him in some flight poses. Although, you know, it does, this thing starts to kind of lean forward when you do it, which always worries me. So I don't, you know, love leaving him in those poses. But overall, this is still really nice. The battery case is, as you would expect, right on the bottom. And as long as you have a uh, fairly small uh, screwdriver, you can get into it quite easily. Really do love this base. Even if you can't use the big full base that it's supposed to do, this one works just great. Um, as of right now, I don't have enough space so to, to to have it in a complete display. Um, I do eventually plan on uh, doing something with my figures, which will give me enough room. But for now, I'm just using him on this, and he looks really nice on this. It really works. All right, so here's the base. This is the base all fully put together, and it is breathtaking. That's that's pretty much all I can say. It is beautiful, it is accurate, it is big, and it is super cool. I absolutely love this. The only downfall to it is yeah, there's a lot of people that probably won't be able to s display him with his uh, with the other Hot Toys figures uh, on this base because a lot of people use Detolf cabinets and things like that, which definitely cannot sustain this large of a uh, of a piece and um, it, it's a shame that a lot of these are probably going to go into the boxes when they should be displayed with the figure but uh, what are you going to do this thing is awesome like as of right now I do not have enough space to display him with it um, but I do plan on uh, kind of changing up where I put my collection and uh, and then I will have plenty of space for this thing and um, I'm really looking forward to when I can finally display him fully on this uh, base but it is beautiful let's just take it handheld so you can see some of the details as you can see the steps um, this part right here this this is like a cardboard it's a very hard very sturdy very nice uh, uh, type of material though so although when I heard that this was kind of just like paper I was uh, pretty disappointed it's it's such a nice material that it really does doesn't matter. It matter. It works really well. And this is about six different pieces that you actually connect. And then like this, and all of these pieces are like t standing on top of the seams, so it looks seamless, which is really cool. And then of course, I love the uh, the kind of pattern here. Very cool. Very metal metalish. And of course, you went through that. You do have the adjustable cradle. And overall, it looks great. There are these like wires. Man, you can't even see. Uh, here, here's some. Here's the wires. These are supposed to be uh, put into like the ends of here. I don't like it though. I'm just gonna leave them like that, just because I have a feeling these are gonna start popping out if I put them in there and stuff. And for at least right now, I'm gonna leave them. When I fully display my Stark on this base for good, then I might do that. But for now, I'm not. Overall, this looks awesome. Let's see it with uh, with like the complete display. Okay, so this is my uh, my full Iron Man display. I love it. Of course, I have a lot of different stuff here, not just what you get with this Tony Stark. Uh, you know, table and chair from Joker, Mark 1, Mark 7 are obviously separate, and some of the armor pieces on that table are from the Mark 7, so yeah. So this is absolutely beautiful. I love this display. I cannot wait until I get enough room to fully display it all like this. Maybe even put the Mark 7, Mark 1 in a 
in those coffins of their own. So yeah, so beautiful. I absolutely love this thing. The Tony Stark is highly recommended by me. I'm a big fan of Tony Stark. Love the Iron Man movies if the third one was disappointing for me. But uh, but I love the other two and um, definitely recommend it. 280 is not bad for all that you get with a regular figure uh, costing about 200 but this Tony Stark with a customized body that has a light in it it's probably gonna run you about 215 and then so just like you know 60 bucks for the other stuff not a bad deal at all so highly recommended by me this is an awesome uh, display and I absolutely love it I'm a big fan of, the, of the, the hot toys that like you can like have a full display with and this is one of them so really loving this and thanks for watching.